All right, y'all, this is Joe with Unbarnest Mike Greens coming back uh, for the final of the Trey Washing uh, debacle, finale, whatever you want to call it. Um, and definitely, as I installed this thing, found some things that I needed to fix. Um, we'll just talk about those real quick. So the first one we needed to fix when I was just, before I ran a single tray through, I just turned the thing on. Um, and I was having a fine mist come out from around my tray or around the washer. So flip it around, first things first. Um, so what I ended up doing was those one inch PVC clamps, like I said, I have a one inch, uh, it's an old cement sink basin. So just clip those on just like that, right around the edge. And that fixed that real quick. Um, other things to talk about, you know, uh, with pressure washers, you want to make sure you run your water through it before you turn your pressure on. So I have my water turned off right now because it's loud as sin, um, even with no pressure going. So I just wanted to demonstrate right now, uh, this nozzle, the handle right back here is what my pressure washer is connected into. Follow the hose all the way around into the pressure washer. So I'm going to apologize. This thing is noisy when I'm running this thing. Uh, my intention is to have the pressure washer in a different room. Therefore, I don't have as much noise. But for now, you'll get to hear what the pressure washer sounds like if it's standing right next to you too. So with that, we'll go ahead and turn our water on. And so even with just the pressure coming out of the tap, uh, it is enough to get this thing spinning, water dripping, it's working, it's staying in there. And I'll show you guys the trays as they come out before they go in, all that jazz. They try some good dirty ones. Alright, so I'll show them to you before I run them through too, just so you can see how dirty they are. And they get noisy.
have it, I don't know, I just ran through 20, 30 trays real quick uh, with this machine. Seems to do the job. One of the things I really like, like about it, it's not the most powerful, so there may be a tray that comes out and it's still got some gunk on it. It's real easy to just kind of reverse directions and just like really find that sweet spot underneath the surface cleaner where it's really hitting that one spot pretty hard. Um, you know, and then it comes out you, within a couple seconds later, perfectly clean. There was trays with uh, cocoa core on them, trays with old vegetation on them, trays with mold on them, all that cleaned right out. Um, I do use these big 32 gallon, 30 gallon uh, trash cans. I fill up with 27 gallons of zero tall. It's not full right now, um, but you know, it, that's my next step here. So that's what my sanitation. I am have intentions of doing a detergent as well. I found a biodegradable, non-toxic to plant detergent online on Amazon. I'm gonna give that a whirl and see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't screw up my grow operation, uh, but we'll see. And yeah, just after going through the gap training, the good agricultural practices training, talking about cleaning your surfaces once, uh, doing a detergent, a rinse, a, a scrub. So this machine here will be my detergent and scrub, do a rinse and then a sanitize uh, and then go from there. So hopefully that'll work out well. Um, and I'll let you guys know if that detergent is working for me, it gets here on Friday. Uh, I might just run this trays pile week, uh, trays this pile from this week uh, through this guy just with plain old water. Uh, Cause that's how I've been doing it is water and sanitizer. Um, but yeah, there you go. Once again, you know, if you found this video series helpful uh, and you're like, I could do that for 350 bucks as opposed to 3,500 bucks and you want to throw me a fiver or a one or 10, whatever, I'll have a Patreon link below. Um, and I'll keep trying to keep good content coming to you all because the more we can uh, float our whole industry, the better this is going to be for all of us. So until next time, keep on growing.